All right, we want to find the exact value of the sine of 255 degrees. So let's draw a unit circle and figure out how to do this. Whoa, that is not a good unit circle. Let's try that again. That's a little better. Some days I'm good on my magic whiteboard, other days I'm not. All right, so 255, let's think about where that is. So we have 90 degrees up here. We have 180 degrees over there. And then if we add another 90, that's gonna give us 270 degrees over there. All right, uh, thinking about 45 degrees. Let's see, 45 is here. 45 and 90 is gonna give us 135 over here. And then plus 80 is 225 over here. So I'm trying to figure out what this is related to from our other special angles. So we're somewhere in between here and here. So let's see where in between. So let's see, this is 45 apart there. So let me do a little calculation. 225, take that away from 255 gives us what, 30 degrees off from uh, 225. So we have a plus 30 to get there. Now we, uh, 250, 225, excuse me, is related to pi over four. So I know about the sine and the cosine at that point. And I am, see familiar with uh, 30 degrees, 30 degrees would be over here. I'm familiar with the sine and the cosine of 30 degrees. So I can use the 30 and the 225 to make that. So what I have then is the sine of 255 is equal to the sine of 225 plus 30. Right, because 255 is 225 plus 30. So what we're trying to do is take uh, angles we know and use those to figure out angles we don't know yet. Now we have an angle sum formula for sine that says sine of the first angle times cosine of the second angle plus the sine gets that sine right there. And we switch cosine of the first angle and then sine of the second angle. Okay, so what do we know? Uh, we're in quadrant three for 225, and that's related to 45 degrees. So that means we're gonna end up with a negative square root of two over two for y, and a negative, uh, yeah, negative square root of two over two for x. Right? In the third quadrant, x and y are negative. In the first quadrant, that's related to 30 degrees. The x value is bigger than the y value. So that is the point square root of three over two, comma one half. Right, and this is cosine and sine. So this is supposed to be a half and that's supposed to be square root of three over two. My picture's not very to scale, unfortunately. All right, so sine of 225 is negative square root of two over two. Cosine of 30 is square root of three over two. Plus cosine of 225 is negative square root of two over two sine of 30 is one half. Cleaning this up a little bit, square root of two times square root of three, I'm gonna call that square root of six over four, it's negative. Here I have plus a negative, so that would be a minus square root of two over four. So that would be one way to write the answer. There are other ways to write that by doing a little arithmetic on that, but I don't think it uses much ink, so I would say that would be my answer right there check. How do we check that? Well, I think my picture is right. It looks right to me, but every once in a while I do something silly. I'm just going to check it on a calculator. So I'm going to go over to my Desmos calculator. Let's clear out the old stuff. And this is a degree problem, so I should switch to degrees. Otherwise, things are going to get weird. And I want to compare the sine of 225, no, 255 to that number I just calculated. So that was negative square root of six, then over four minus the square root of two, 
also over four, and they are the same number. So it looks like I made the right calculation there. So it's a matter of, is the given angle related to two angles I already know? And I generally draw that out in the unit circle to try and place, figure out which angles it's related to. Sometimes it's a difference, sometimes it's a sum, just kind of depends.